Hello everyone, welcome back to ESAT preparation on study circle. We have been solving a few problems recently and sorry for the delay in uploading. I had some work to do, mainly writing the book. All right, so okay, I was compiling a chemistry book for you all. Let us start with this problem. Mm, this is, I have imported the entire paper of I think 2017 or 2018 onto my worksheet and we can discuss the solution of all problems. All right. So I'll upload this in parts so you can expect one video around every three to four days. Let us begin the first problem. The first problem says evaluate and it has given you a few irrational numbers to evaluate, right? Now, how are you going to do this? So usually when we have simplifications or evaluations like this, we take the traditional route, right? Rationalize, you do the algebraic manipulations first and so on. Here we won't do that, okay? because the numbers are very favorable to us in a way. So how are they favorable to us? 12 is 2 root 3, right? So if I replace this, I'll get 2 root 3 plus root 3 whole square. Okay, let I can just write it as 2 root 3 uh, minus root 3 and put this entire thing under whole squares, right? So this will just give you 3 root 3 divided by root 3 whole square. Now these cancel out and you end up with 3 square is equal to 9. Alright, very easy. So 3 square is equal to 9. I think that gives you option F. Yeah, option F is correct. Alright, so done. Okay, now this problem would have become much more complicated if you had tried to rationalize it. Mm, all of the tests that you will appear in, in your life, will test you on two things. Whether you know the subject matter and whether you know where and how to apply that subject matter. Right? So you know rationalization, you know algebra, you know all of this. These are all basic things. But where you are applying these matters. All right? So here you wouldn't rationalize. If you rationalize, I have seen a few students trying to rationalize, you will waste a bit of time. Remember, this paper has 27 questions in 40 minutes. So you will get around one and a half minutes per question. You don't want to waste those one and a half minutes here. Okay? Now I am writing these because I am instructing you, I am teaching you. You are not supposed to do this in the exam, all right? I would not have done this if I was giving the exam. Okay, next question, question two. Solve the inequality. So I'll show you the inequality, how to solve it in a traditional sense. Then of course we will apply some shortcuts and all. So this becomes two x square plus x minus 15, right? If I shift everything to the left hand side, greater than equals to zero. So two, 15, 30, uh, 30 grades broken down into six and five. So two x square, plus 6x minus 5x minus 15 is greater than or equals to 0. So that will give you 2x into x plus 3. Okay, wait. No, correct. Minus 5 into x plus 3 greater than or equals to 0. So this is basically 2x minus 5 into x plus 3 greater than or equals to 0. Now we will draw the sign diagram as we usually do, right? There is a very standard workflow for these type of problems. So what are the roots here? The roots will be minus three and five by two. So minus three and five by two. Now we will check where this is greater than or equals to zero. So take zero. If you put zero here in this equation, test with zero, see if it holds. So if you put zero here, I'll get minus five plus three minus 15, which is okay, negative. So this region will be negative. These two will be the positive region. So clearly, to get the desired answer or to get a positive answer, I'll have x belongs to minus infinity comma minus three union 2.5 comma, sorry, not zero, infinity. Now, this has the equality, right? Greater than equals to. So these will be closed, okay? These were not open brackets. These will be closed brackets, okay? But this is the set format. They want us, the they want us to give the answer in the interval format. So this will be x less than equals to minus 3 and x greater than equals to 2.5. Okay, so I think that matches, yep, option A. Okay, so this is the traditional way in which we solve inequalities. But how do you solve it without it? Do we do this large unwieldy calculation during the exam? No, of course not. We'll just check a few values. So the first value that you should check, okay, in the first line you do this. Right, do this transformation because that will make things a lot easier. Right, do this transformation first. Then you check x equal to 0. So if you check x equal to 0, you will find that you get minus 15 greater than equals to 0. That's not true. 
right? So if you find minus 15, if you find zero lying in any interval, that will give you minus 15, and that will make your inequality false. So zero in any interval, if you get it, like this one, crossed out, this one, crossed out. Okay, two of them gone. All right. Now what do you observe here? This is less than or equals to three. This is greater than or equals to 2.5. Here we have two more numbers, 1.5 and 5. So why not try something that is beyond that? Okay, so try 3 instead. Because if you can establish at 3, then this option will get cancelled. Alright, and then you will be left with these two. So check with 3. So 2 into 3 square, you get 18 plus 3, 21. Okay, 3 holds. If 3 holds, that means this one is also rejected. So you, are, you end up with either these two options separately or these two options together all right so just check two values and you should get it if you check x equal to 3 oh, we just checked x equal to 3 right so we know that this one holds so e b and e will hold check any value that is less than minus 3 so check minus 4 so you'll get 2 into minus 4 whole square so 2 into minus 4 whole square is 32 greater than equals to 15 minus minus 4 19 true so that means both of these will hold together therefore option e okay Sometimes you can do these calculations faster and in some other times the traditional method will be faster. Okay. If you are way too well versed with the traditional method, then you can do that efficiently as well. You can even jump some steps. Okay. I just wrote the entire thing down. So uh, because I was instructing you, you could have jumped a few steps and got it faster than the option testing case. All right. So I showed you both of the ways in which you can do it. You can either test the options, right? Do it intelligently, cross the options first. You can also do it traditionally, but make sure you jump a few steps. You do not need to write the entire thing like you would do for your school exams. Okay, the steps are not marked here. You just need to mark the correct answer. All right, so that's it. One and two are done. In the next part of the video, I'll show you the solutions to three and four. Okay, now make sure to check out the links that I have in the description. I have a few more books out. Paper one, mathematics, 500 questions. Paper two, mathematics, 300 questions and physics okay 300 questions so if you're going for engineering you would need maths 1 maths 2 and physics all right if you're going for natural sciences you would need maths 1 physics and chemistry i'm working on the chemistry book because i'm not a expert in chemistry so i'm working with my friend it'll take some time okay we are having to compile the answers so expect the chemistry and biology books sometime in the next 15 days all right so with that being said i'll end the video here thank you all for joining and i'll see you all in the next one bye Study well, take care.